Just reading some review, no reviews, uh, some theories or things that are coming up about the next Nikon whatever, D850 or some of that. Um, and it's saying it may have a 50 megapixel sensor, a bit like what Canon's got with their 5D RSJTS2 something. Um, and uh, and I'm just gonna say it's like oh my Christ Almighty, fifty megapixels is just insane. It's so big, and for me it's it's a bit of a turnoff. As a professional photographer, I I'm generally shooting every day, um, shooting properties for houses, for magazines, for brochures, for web use, and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I shoot with Canon 5D Mark II which is a 22 megapixel sensor. Um, however, I always shoot in medium raw, which turns out to be a 9.9 .9 megapixel image. And I've never, ever had any request for a higher resolution image. In fact, the images which I email over after I've edited them all are at seven megapixels. And they are good enough for full front page spreads of newspapers and for high resolution brochures and stuff that we give out and all that kind of stuff. However, I do understand there are some, let's say, landscape photographers or some people out there that uh, may benefit from high resolution for cropping in and certain things like that. However, I've got an idea. There's two reasons why uh, the big camera companies are going for the higher resolutions again. In the past, uh, the Nikon was really like, hey, we don't need high resolution, we're all about the ISO. And everyone was like, oh. And people separated into the camps of Canon versus Nikon. And uh, the Nikon group were all like, we're wanting the higher ISO and the dynamic range. And Canon were like, no, we want, want the higher megapixels. And then it calmed down for a wee while, and now it's going mental again. So, like, you've got Sony bringing out a 42 megapixel camera, the uh, A7R Mark II. You've got Canon with its 5D RS, or whatever it is, which is a 50 megapixel, and Nikon potentially coming out with a 50 megapixel one as well. Their current D800. And D810 is a 36 megapixel camera, which I had for a wee while. And uh, to be honest, I bloody loved it. <laughs> but I didn't love it for its uh, image resolution. I loved it for its image quality. It gave fantastic images, great dynamic range, great colour, especially when I was shooting like landscape stuff at the low ISOs, and you had an amazing ability to crop. However, for professional everyday use for myself, like I, I what I said is that for that ca that camera is fantastic for the amateur. But for the everyday user that's taking 100, 200 photos every day and having to edit and process them and deliver them to clients, that is just ridiculous. Yeah, you would never, it's that requires far more effort. A lot of the time whenever I'm uh, editing afterwards, I'm both, uh, I'm editing about 100 photos, I'm doing colour corrections, rotations, um, lens corrections, white balance corrections, exposure corrections, um, adjustments I should say, um, and uh, at the same time I'm probably importing video files, and I'm exporting videos, and I'm doing videos, um, so the computer is doing multiple things at any one time, and I'm doing emails and all that kind of stuff. So people say, oh you just need a faster computer, it's like there's no computer computer that's fast enough for dealing with all the stuff which I use for the two hours that I've got in the office to download all the files, to upload them all, to start exporting them, and do all the editing, all that kind of stuff, um, to make it fast and fluent. And just the kind of going, oh, if I click, uh, rotate, or crop, and if it takes half a second, that gets incredibly irritating for for taking a uh, for doing edits to a hundred photos, and you you can really get frustrated, especially if uh, if you've got a lot of things running in the background. However, so I think there's two reasons why they're going for the higher megapixel uh, cameras again. One is uh, for they need media they need uh they need promotion of some sort so hey we've got the best megapixel camera now and it's just a headline that that's the word i'm looking for the second reason which i think is probably the more important one is the idea that they can now start saying sorry our old lenses were were good but they'll never work with these new higher resolution cameras and so with a higher resolution market you also develop your lens market again. So in the past, a lot of photographers you hear everywhere saying, oh, what to do, invest in good lenses and you know, you'll know you live with your lens, you'll never have to get a new one. And I say that's absolutely spot on. If you're up to 
the 12 megapixel of the D, uh, was it the D3S, 60 megapixel of the D4 and D4S, um, maybe up to the 24 megapixel of the D600, 750 kind of area. Um, then yeah, your old lenses will work absolutely fine. However, for you to get <coughs> the quality that is required um, from a 36 megapixel or a 50 megapixel sensor, the old lenses just are not going to keep up with uh, with that resolution, um, and are, they're going to show their downfalls pretty pretty uh, obviously with those images. So I think the only reason. The, the biggest reason they go, hey, let, if we put a 50 megapixel camera, we can see, oh, your old lenses, you'll have to sell them and get brand new ones which are calibrated to be 50 megapixel sharp. Um, and it's just created a, a far bigger market for the camera companies. So I'm very skeptical, again, of anyone saying, oh, I do big prints. Do you, like the amount of people that leave comments say, oh, I do really big prints. I need, I need 36 megapixels where I do really big prints. The amount of people that say that, I suspect it's only about 1% of those people that actually ever do really big prints. And I think what they're saying a really big print is, is like a 16 by 20 inch print. Not that big. When you're talking about the back of a bus. In fact, there's a bus in Edinburgh just now where there's a picture covering the whole back of a bus. It was done with an iPhone. What was that? Like 8 megapixels kind of stuff. So yeah, to say that you need 36, I'm always a little bit... Do you really? But I would be very cautious with a lot of people just now saying, oh wow, I was going to come out with a 50 megapixel sensor. I suspect a very quickly afterwards you'll hear a lot of marketing saying, oh, you need to get the new lenses as well. So bear that in mind whenever you're getting all excited about super high resolution cameras. Think about the lenses that you got just now. They may be brilliant and you may think, oh, I, I invested a lot in these lenses, but you will very soon get people saying, you need to get new ones.